when you photograph your artwork, especially if you're using a, a DSLR so you can zoom in, you can zoom out with the lens, and you can actually see what the focal length is, you want to be at about between 70 to 100 millimeters. What's going to happen if you're between 70 to 100 millimeters is going to be less distortion of the image. If you're familiar with wide-angle lenses, they have a tendency to concave everything so it looks terrible. And when you zoom in with zoom lenses, it convexes all the edges. So if you're right about in the middle, the sweet spots, you're not going to, all the edges are going to be straight for you. You're going to have to do less work on Photoshop. If you, now, if you don't have a camera where you can zoom in or out very easily, and it doesn't tell you how many millimeters it is, just have it not all the way zoomed in, not all the way zoomed out, but about in between the middle, and then just move the camera tripod back and forth until you hit that sweet spot where it fills the frame and everything looks straight. The first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that the canvas or board, whatever you're using, is parallel to the back of the camera. Then you have to make sure that the lens is perpendicular to the painting. Now when you look in the viewfinder, everything should be straight up and down, all the angles of the painting. If things are too small at the top and they're wider at the bottom, that means somehow you're not parallel and perpendicular. So move the camera around, and of course you have to have a tripod to do this. Move the camera around so everything looks like it's straight in the viewfinder. Take a picture, verify that it's straight in the viewfinder. If it's not, keep moving things around until it is. Once you get this setup set up, it doesn't take that long to get back to where you were before and do this. Like, I could set this up at my house in literally five minutes and be ready to go to do all the shooting. But make sure everything is, is square and then you're ready to go. Next, we're going to talk about exposure. You can check out more of my work at rfoxphoto.com or on my Etsy shop at RFox Watercolors. Thanks a lot. Happy painting. This is what happens when you have a wide angle lens and you can get too close to the image. Distortion. You don't want that. That's bad.